my start in a long career of sports on television came working on a non-commercial FM station in Bowling Green, Ohio, doing a hockey game between a relatively new varsity program called the Bowling Green Falcons and Ryerson College. And the feeling I had after doing the second period, my only period that night, was a feeling I wanted to have many more times in life and I got. The pay isn't very good. The hours are not very good. You work a lot of weekends and holidays. It's highly competitive. But if you get to do what you want to do, you'll love your job too. It may be laborious work, but it's a part of doing the job. The preparation's fun and the job's fun. It's really not a job. It's not drudgery, it's not work, it's joy. And I've been blessed to have that for four and a half decades since I walked in here. But it's Letourneau left side. Quickly on across the right side and then a drive by Friedman. He scores! One of the things that happened to me when I first started sending out applications for work is I got nice rejection letters because I had no experience. I had no experience at any level. The advantage that the students have that work at WBGU-TV is that they get experience working live events, political events, sports events, of any kind. When they change that tassel from one side to the other, they leave and enter the commercial marketplace with something that not everybody has by the time they get to that desk where they're applying for a job. They've worked events. They know what it's like to have a pass hanging around their neck. They know what it's like to run cable, to place microphones, to have the pressure of meeting the clock for that event that day. It's not when you get there, when the clock hits the top of the hour, that event starts and you better be ready. There's no greater discipline than that. And to have that from a place like WBGU TV is invaluable. He is just 5'9", but cat-like. This is thrown right around in front. Score!